If you're full of self-doubt about your writing and you're overthinking it and you're scared of failing, then this video is for you. Hopefully by the end of it, I can help you feel a bit better. I wanna tell you a story about how I quit writing for good. I think that's it. I think I'm done. That's exactly what I said at the end of 2019. I'd just heard back from a literary agent who had gone from saying, congratulations on some fantastic writing, send me everything you have, to actually, this isn't what I thought. I think it's best that we part ways. The thing that hurt the most about that was that she was absolutely right. And I knew it. Deep down, I'd been waiting for it. I knew that book wasn't good enough. And that wasn't all I knew. I also knew that I didn't have the talent or the skill to make it as a writer, and I likely never would have. I knew the chances of me ever having anything published were really low. I knew that being a full-time writer, which was my dream, was not gonna happen. But the very worst part of all of that is I believed in all of those facts way more than I've ever believed in myself. Because who was I to be writing novels to begin with? What story could I possibly have to tell that anybody would be interested in? There were all these exceptional people in the world, all these authors with intimidating backstories of their own before you even got to their books, not to mention the ultra-talented, come-out-of-nowhere debut authors. Then there was me. I worked in an office in a small town. And the biggest reason I could think of of why I should be a success with writing is because I really, really wanted to do it. What kind of pitch is that? So based on all of those facts, I made the only decision that made any sense. I quit writing forever. For about a week. Because despite all of that stuff and the mounting evidence that supported my decision to give up, I still wanted to do it. I still wanted to try. I'd made no real tangible progress in getting published, so I knew I couldn't succeed, but I couldn't quit either. I needed a way to continue, or a way to feel better, or a way to feel just different, really. Because I wasn't just gonna write another novel, tell myself this was the one this time, send it to agents, get sad, and then say I was quitting writing forever. Again. That cycle had to end. At one point, while I was being all reflective and introspective, I realised that, deep down, I'd been waiting for some kind of sign that I was special, I think. I was waiting for a sign that I might be one of the lucky ones, and that it was only a matter of time because this was what I was meant to do, blah blah blah. But the thing is, no one is meant for this. Nothing is preordained or written in the stars. There isn't some grand plan of it's meant to be or it's not meant to be for every writer's life. And at first I felt further demotivated by that because I felt like I'd been waiting for a sign that this was something I was supposed to do and I then realised that that sign was never coming. I think that's a demotivating thing to figure out. Until you reverse it like I did and you realise that if all of that is true, it surely means that it's not written anywhere that you'll fail. There is no fact or law or prophecy saying you can't do this. So if there's no point continuing writing because there's no guarantee that you'll succeed, it must also be true that there's no point quitting writing because there's no guarantee that you'll fail. And when that penny finally dropped for me, that was when I started this channel. Not because I felt really confident about my skills and abilities as a writer, but exactly because I didn't and I knew I probably never would. So I used my writing to point out little moments that I thought represented what it means to be a person. And then I made videos talking about how we can get more of those into our writing. And strangely, other writers understood what I was talking about, and they had their own ideas about it too that I could learn from. But none of them asked me if I was meant to be a writer. No one asked to see a, a copy of the prophecy that was written about me. So if you're worried that your story isn't good or isn't written well, or it won't be a success or help you get published, I understand. We're all waiting to find that out. But that book that you're writing, or the story that you're telling, Chances are, you started writing it not because of all of that stuff, but because it's a story that you wanted to read that didn't exist yet. In a lot of ways, you're writing that story for yourself, for you. So yeah, maybe nobody will ever read what we write, but are you really gonna tell me that you're not worth writing it for? Of course you are. We're all in this together, so please don't quit writing. And if you need an idea about what to write next, Try this video about how small moments might spark your next story. Thank you so much for watching as always. 
and happy writing.